So let's take a look at some of the more useful aggregate functions. This shows us the total number of seconds of all the tracks all added together in our track table. If we want to view that in hours, minutes, and seconds, we can combine it with the sec to time function. And what that does is it takes this value, which is the value returned by the sum function, and converts it into hours, minutes, and seconds, because our duration column is kept in seconds. Let's look at a more useful example. This shows us the sum of the durations per album. So this is the number of seconds of all the tracks on the apostrophe album. This is the number of seconds of all the tracks added together on the Birds of Fire album, etc. And likewise, we can display this in hours, minutes, and seconds. And that will feed the result of the sum calculation into the sec to time function. Now we have it in duration in a format that we're familiar with in hours, minutes, and seconds. There's some other useful aggregates we can use in this context. Here is average. This will give us the average duration per album of all the tracks.